Hey everybody, today I want to make a video about herbs for menses for women, um, menopause and overall female hormonal health. So I started making this video because I was talking to my mum and I was just thinking, you know, she was saying menopause can be a really, really hard time for women. But I was thinking, well, I know some herbs that can greatly, tremendously and fully help with menopause. So it's not a really like itchy, hormonal, moody, grumpy, uh, tired, ups and downs, energy sapping and difficult time in your life. Like, why spend five years of your life being having an upsetting, difficult time? So if it was me, I'd try out some herbs and some of the herbs that I try are time old famous herbs such as Angelica, also known as Dangui, um, a very famous Chinese herb, also known as women's ginseng. For more information, you can see everything I mentioned now you can see below in, in, the, in the description box lovely birds and I also do a special offer of 20% off first time subscribers because this is actually I sell these at my herb shop called HigherSelfHerbs.com so women's ginseng aka Angelica Dangui a very famous strong blood cleanser and blood builder also great for women's hormones stabilizing boosting strengthening the female body so that's one thing I definitely would be trying myself another thing I'd be trying would be white peony white peony again um, I think it's a liver cleanser, a blood builder and blood cleanser and again a hormone strengthener and regulator for women. So I tried those two for definite and another one is like Gusticum. It helps shift chi and blood stagnation, helps blood to flow, helps um, to cleanse um, and again another very famous thing which is typically often used with white peony or angelica. So another fourth thing I would be definitely thinking about trying would be a product that not many people know of. It's called Fibrovera. Fibrovera is an enzyme and herb formula together. So the enzymes help break down like um, anything that needs to be broken down, any congestion, any clots, any scar tissue, anything waste in the blood, um, fungi, candida, anything. Basically speaking, it helps break down and get rid of stuff that's not supposed to be there in the body to be eliminated and cleanse and purify ourselves. So I do have an enzyme section to my shop also, which is brilliant. I, you know, I highly recommend having a look at the enzyme section too. But this specific formula is really designed for women and it also has uh, female women herbs too, as like the ones I was describing, to strengthen and support. So the two of them work very well together, to be honest. So I'd try any one, any two or three of those. If I really felt adventurous, I'd even try out the four of them. And the fifth one I'd consider looking into is called asparagus root, which is also called Shatavari in Ayurvedic medicine. It's amazing um, for women, their, their sexual and hormonal health and strength. It's great for menopause. Um, all of these, by the way, are totally equally as good for menses and the women's time of the month. Totally and utterly will relieve stuff like cramps, um, hot flashes, um, mood and uh, shifting and irritability, pain and discomfort. So the final herb I want to talk about last but not least and possibly the best uh, female herb is actually something that comes from Peru and um, grows in high altitude, very hardy sturdy plant known called maca. Maca is actually used for men and women as a libido enhancing like sexual drive interest herb and um, it's great for mental clarity and focus and concentration. It's great for energy, it's great for stamina and endurance and it's especially fantastic for women's mood and menstrual issues. So many women benefit enormously from maca. I've read countless testimonies of women having amazing results regarding their mens menses and menstrual cramps, issues, moods, energy and well-being. So I'd highly recommend trying out maca, be it a man or a woman. But for this video, especially for women, it's really, 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 really good. It's really good for also for treating, helps depression, mood and stress also. So maca is definitely one of my favorite personal herbs. I love the smell of it. It tastes good. And the maca that I have at my store is a 10 to 1 concentrate. Usually if you're not using a concentrate, you might want to take enough to actually get the really good results, which a lot of people don't, which is maybe two or three tablespoons. But with this, you only need a teaspoon because it's concentrated. It's also very good for your thyroid. So I'd highly recommend maca overall for everybody. I love maca. It's like basically the tools you'd really, really, really want to be looking into if you're a female. Like that's what I would. If I was a female, I'd absolutely be taking these as well as eating more raw foods. The power of raw and living foods helps, helps to strengthen and cleanse. 
so yeah, there's some of the herbs and the enzyme also that I'd be thinking of taking. Um, boost and bolster myself and have a happier time in life. At the end of the day, we spend like thousands upon thousands in a year, let alone a lifetime. What's a little bit of money spent on self-investment and nurturing and improving our quality of life, our energy, our mood, our happiness? Um, have better relationships, less stress, less conflict, need less sleep, time in bed, and just go out there and enjoy your life, basically speaking. So I hope this video helped and I hope you enjoyed the information and um, feel welcome to check out the links below and subscribe. And I'll see you again in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye.